Hello, I'd like to introduce you optimized mobile shading asset pack. It doesn't require any post process, all shading happening in material, you also don't need material to be lit, so this is very cheap method. This pack contains 10 different shading material functions for any objects. It also has dynamic light source, you can set a constant position, or animate it in blueprint. By the way right now I'm using mobile preview. Let's look at the shadings. This is models without shading, they only have emissive channel. Realistic shading. Cell shading. Cell shading with outline. Cell shading with number of bands you can set. Same one with outline. Fresno shading. Cartoon shading 1. Cartoon shading 2. Cartoon shading 3. Cartoon shading 4. How to use it? For example, I want to apply this cell shading for this character. First I'm creating a material for it. Let's make it unlit, so it'll have less instructions. Now you look at the number of your shading, in this case it's 3. Go to the Materials folder. Third folder. And now you have to choose which material function are you going to use. If your object has a color texture use MF texture. If it's just one color use MF color. I'll show you how to use both functions, but in this case we need a texture one. So just drag it into your material editor window. Now you have to create parameter for each input. For the light position, if you want it to have a constant position create a vector parameter, but if you want animate it I'll show how to do this a bit later. I'm just creating parameters for each input and plugging a texture into color texture. Alright, save you material. Now let's create instance from it. Apply this material instance to our object. Open it and set the values of the parameters. For the light position you're setting the world position of the light source. You can set values as I do, or play with them and find the best you like. It's done. Now let's try different shading and instead of using texture as a color, we're going to use straight one color. Do the same exact steps as I did before. Here instead of color texture, we have two color shadows. 
Also in this case we have few new outputs, customized UV. To create slots for them, go to Material Properties, type Customized, and put in number 3, if you have two UV outputs. And plug them, UV1 into UV1 and so on. OK, save the material and create an instance. Again. Use my values or try tweak it yourself. This material is also done, now let's talk about how you can control light source. First of all we'll need to create material parameter collection. Open it and add vector parameter. Now dive in your material and drag it in. Select your parameter in settings and plug it into light position. Save the material. Let's create a blueprint actor. Go to Event Graph. I'm going to use Event Tick for the example, but you should avoid doing this as Unreal 4 Guru says. Create a node set vector parameter value and choose our material parameter. For the parameter value let's use location of out actor. Hit Compile and test it. It works perfectly. This is how you create dynamic light source. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.